in our previous presentations we understood the concepts of time complexity and space complexity we know what is time complexity and how to find the time complexity of an algorithm and we also know how to find the space complexity of an algorithm also we understood what are the commonly used logarithms and summations while doing the analysis of algorithms now from this presentation onwards we will understand time complexity of single loops there are two different types of loops one is single loop and the other one is nested loop we will first understand time complexity of single loops and then we will understand time complexity of nested loops in this lecture i will introduce time complexity of single loops so let's get started and let's see what are the topics of this lecture the topics are time complexity recap we will first get the quick recap of the time complexity which we learned in our previous presentations and then we will understand how to find the time complexity of loops let's get started and let's get the quick recap of the time complexity first we know what is time complexity from our previous lectures we understood that the time complexity is the estimation of total cpu computations required to execute an algorithm and the formula that we understood is time complexity of an algorithm is equal to total number of cpu computations and in order to find the total number of cpu computations we can use the frequency count method and according to that method we need to calculate the sum of frequency count of each instruction of an algorithm to find the total number of cpu computations required to execute an algorithm so total number of cpu computations is same as sum of frequency count of each instruction of an algorithm and what is frequency count frequency count refers to the number of times an instruction is executed so clearly time complexity of an algorithm is same as sum of frequency count of each instruction of an algorithm now we are in the situation to understand the time complexity of loops from now our focus is on finding the time complexity of single loops and nested loops we are interested in finding the time complexity of loops because in any type of algorithm if there are loops then they contribute significantly to the time complexity hence our focus is on finding the time complexity of loops so now let's move to the next topic where we will discuss the time complexity of loops so what is the time complexity of a loop time complexity of a loop is the estimation of total cpu computations required to execute a loop so time complexity of a loop is same as the sum of frequency count of each instruction of the loop we learned already that time complexity of an algorithm is same as the sum of frequency count of each instruction of that algorithm right now we are focusing on loops if we want to find the time complexity of a loop then we need to calculate the sum of frequency count of each instruction of the loop but what if i tell you that there is no need to calculate the sum of frequency count of each instruction of the loop instead we can calculate the frequency count of the innermost instruction of the loop and that will give us the time complexity of loop so time complexity of a loop is same as frequency count of the innermost instruction of the loop we just need to focus on the innermost instruction of the loop and we need to know how many times it has been executed in the loop by knowing this we can know the time complexity of a loop calculating the sum of frequency count of each instruction of the loop is not needed because there is only constant difference between sum of frequency count of each instruction of the loop and the frequency count of the innermost instruction of the loop only constant difference 
and we know we need to represent the time complexity using asymptotic notations so eventually we will eliminate the constants so instead of calculating the sum of frequency count of each instruction of the loop we just need to calculate the frequency count of the innermost instruction of the loop this is the time complexity of a loop now let's take one simple example to properly understand this concept here is the example let's say we have this loop for i equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus printf neso academy the innermost instruction in this loop is printf neso academy so we just need to find the frequency count of this innermost instruction in order to find the time complexity of this loop because as we learned time complexity of a loop is same as frequency count of the innermost instruction of the loop so what is the frequency count of this instruction printf neso academy the frequency count of this instruction is equal to the number of times this instruction is executed how many times this instruction is executed we can observe that this for loop will execute from 1 to n this means this loop will run n times and hence this instruction will execute n times and therefore the frequency count of this instruction is n and what is the time complexity the time complexity is big o of n the time complexity of this entire loop is dependent upon the frequency count of the innermost instruction of the loop the frequency count of this instruction is n and therefore the time complexity of this loop is big o of n so in this way we learned how to find the time complexity of a loop this is the example of a single loop and from now we will discuss the time complexity of single loops for a while after discussing the time complexity of single loops we will then move to the time complexity of nested loops So we are done with the time complexity of loops and this means we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.